Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures. And in this video, I'll quickly be showing you how to view and monitor all the different exchanges that are currently being traded, the ones that are open, the ones that are about to close, and just pretty much give you an overview of how you can monitor all the different exchanges around the world directly from the Optimus Flow trading platform. Now, before I do walk you through the tutorial, I would just like to mention that if you're not already familiar with this, this is our brand new downloadable trading platform that we'll soon be releasing. As the time of this recording, we are currently in beta stage, but the feature I'm about to show you will remain in live as well. If you are interested in trying out our beta of Optimus Flow, please post a comment down in the comment section below. You can either email us at support at optimusfutures.com or drop a post on our community forum and we'll provide you with an invite so you can get started. At the time of this recording, the only connectivity option is rhythmic, but in the future, we are planning to add connectivity options for Forex users that are on OANDA, and we're also looking to add the CQG data feed as well. So once again, if you're interested, either drop a comment, create a forum post, or send us an email and we'll gladly get you started. Now, for those of you that are a bit familiar with Optimus Flow already and are looking for this feature, here is a tutorial. So to monitor all the different exchange times, all we need to do is head to the top left-hand corner of the platform window and click on the Optimus Flow logo. As you can see here, this is our pretty much central hub of Optimus Flow, and you can pretty much open up every feature within this platform directly from this little sub menu here. So it starts with analytics and we need to scroll down to the miscellaneous section. The icon we're looking for here is EXT or exchange times. Now, if you weren't already familiar with it, you can create these buttons or make them a favorite. If you want to make it a favorite, it'll pretty much put it to the top of the platform here along this toolbar. As you can see, I have quite a few different buttons here, all with different colors and different subtext. Pretty much all you need to do is click on this star at the top right of each icon within this menu here. As you can see, I'm hovering over the quote board. I click this star and it adds it to the top right here. Now you'll see quote board. So that way I don't have to go to this menu every time, scroll down and find the icon I'm looking for. Either way, whether you favorite it and click it from the main toolbar at the top or go to the menu, all we need to do is a left click on the corresponding icon for this video, it's going to be EXT exchange time. Click on that and it will open up our exchange times chart. Now, as you can see, the default view is a bit small. If you want, you can either click the maximize button here, which will kind of lock it into the window, or we can move it over here. Left click, hold and drag on one of the corners of the window here and make it a bit bigger. So that way we get a broader scope and we can see different time frames and, uh, some more um, exchanges that were a bit cut off or hidden because of the window size. So as you can see, the green line running down the center of our chart here is going to show the current time that you're in. We're currently at 348 PM Eastern time. So as you can see, that's represented by 1548. Um, anything highlighted in green is currently open. So you can see the New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ, Toronto, and Mexican Stock Exchange are all currently open. Anything grayed out is currently closed at this time. As you can see, you can hover over it, each different exchange. It'll give you the name of the exchange. It'll also tell you the open and close time there. Now, if you want, and you can get a bit customized with this, you have the ability to add or display different uh, markets that you want to display or you know hide some of the ones that you don't want to display. You definitely have a bunch of different customization options here. So just to show you, if you want, you can hide all the American exchanges. We can go ahead and do that. So now the only things that are displaying are Europe, Asia, and Oceania. If we want, we can continue to display or you know hide or move as needed and build our list from the bottom up. So as you can see, we've pretty much hidden everything now. If we want, we can start to build from the bottom. So, and just to let you know, when you do re-add any of the exchanges, they do start from the bottom up. So as you can see here, we're starting here. We have the Americas. If we want, we can just deselect some of them if we need to. So we can only display the ones we're interested in. Here we can 
enable the Asian. Let's say now we want to enable the Europe and have it displayed so that Asians up top, or excuse me, America, Asian, and then Europe's up top. And then maybe we can go back and enable Oceania. Bunch of different customization options here. Just wanted to show you in really easy and quick way, you can check all the different exchanges directly from the platform. This is quite a neat feature. Um, and instead of having to Google every time you want to see the open or close, you can just do it straight from Optimus Flow. If you do have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section down below. You can also head over, head over to our community forum, as I mentioned before. It is linked down in the description. So again, if you want to try out Optimus Flow or you do have any questions on the platform, please create a post over there and we'll gladly give you an in-depth guide on how to proceed. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more Optimus Flow content, more podcasts, tips, tricks, and much more. And as always, thanks for watching.